Good morning, Father Larry Swing. So we're in the second week of Advent and we're preparing to see Christ um, uh, now or, you know, as we prepare obviously every time we go to Mass and but also for a second coming in Christmas. And I want to, this weekend we have this this uh, figure, this Saint, Saint John the Baptist. And um, you'll notice that in the, in, this, in the scriptures that he, um, he appears in the scripture, he's clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and it says in the scripture he fed on locusts and wild honey. Uh, how would John the Baptist fit in t society today? Probably not very well, and, but I think he's a great role model for men. Um, St. Jose Maria, in, in one of his writings, he says, tender, soft, flabby, that's not the way I want you. It's about time you get rid of that peculiar pity you feel for yourself. Mm -hmm. And so he kind of challenges, not just men, but also women, to, to sort of like toughen up a little bit. And notice the discipline that John the Baptist has. You know, he eats wild honey and locusts and he wears this like awful camel shirt, you know? Um, you know, he wasn't wearing skinny jeans, okay? He was, <laughs> he was, just, he was just a real guy and he just exu exudes sort of this manly virtue. And I think today, unfortunately, that that's not really celebrated in today's culture, but it's so needed is, you know, with fathers and, and coaches and priests and bishops. I mean, the, the, to, to exude a little bit of strength of character, you know, I, you know, one thing to meditate on is like, I don't think years ago you would have thought that uh, there would be such things as snowflakes. Uh, apparently in colleges now, this has been several years now, they have this gr growing number of what's called snowflakes. and. It's a, a young people, whenever they hear anything controversial or true or quote unquote judgmental, uh, they write letters and they ask for safe zones uh, to be available where they can just go. And usually on the wall, there's like, you know, pictures of puppy dogs and flowers and things like that. But really it's, it's, it's sort of escaping from reality. And really in order to, to live life, we've got to learn how to sacrifice and at times do things that are uncomfortable. So once again, would John the Baptist fit in today in today's society? Probably not, but he should.